All right, so today we are going to render some wax, and uh, the method I use is the crock pot method. It takes a little while, but it definitely does the trick. The comb that I'm using is out of my failed hive. I will be posting a video of that probably, but I mean, it's all good comb. So, that's what we're going to do. First, you're going to want to put water into the crock pot. Like maybe a good two inches or so of water. And then we're gonna plug it in. And then we're just gonna dump our wax in. We're gonna wanna put this on high. All the stuff that I poured in from the mason jar is my burr comb that I scraped off of the other, uh, my other hives. And I think that's it for now. This big piece here, I think we're going to, uh, wait for that because I'd like to get some of this melted down. I think there just might be too much, uh, wax in there. This is only the second time I ever did this, so we'll put the top on and uh, we'll be back when this melts and I'll show you what to do from there. Alright, so we're back, everything melted. Uh, this process takes a little while, so what we're going to do is I unplug the crock pot, shut everything off, and then I am going to let it uh, just sit and harden up. Now you see all kinds of dirt in there. The stuff at the very bottom sunk to the bottom, so that isn't gonna be in your wax. All your wax is floating on the top of it. So I'll let this uh, harden up and then show you from there. And then I got another big uh, chunk of wax to do. So we'll go from there. All right, we're back and this is after it cooled off and it's still a little warm. Let's see if we can pry that out of there without wrecking it too much. And then you'll see at the bottom how all the, pretty much all the dirt, all the contaminants and everything, pretty much most of it's in the water right there. But you'll get it like this. So we're going to render this again, but there's another piece of comb that I'm going to be doing. And then uh, after all that, I'll show you what I do to take all the dirt out of it so you can have a nice yellow piece of wax. So we'll be back to do that. All right, so we're going to render this wax one more time. Only this time we're going to use black nylon. And then we're going to put the wax in there. The wax should filter through the, uh, the nylon. Should filter through the nylon and then should come out a nice yellow color. That's what I did to the block before and it turned out great. So we're just going to take this and then break it up and put it into the nylon. All right, we'll just fold it up and stick it in the nylon. And then we're just going to tie the other end of it into a knot. Just like that. And then we'll just toss the whole thing in. <clears throat> and then we'll be back to check on that. 
All right, so we're back and that nylon that I stuck in there, everything's melted out of it. So you don't want to squeeze this out or you risk uh, getting the dirt to come out of it. You can let it drip and drain like that. And then just stick this off to the side. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Well, anyway, just to add more to that, because there's not a whole lot of wax there, I'm just going to throw this chunk back in and then have everything melt into one big, one big uh, solid block there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We will be back once again when... Uh, when all this melts and then cools back down, so. All right, so we're done, red we're done rendering the wax and we use that nylon like I showed you and there's pretty much how it turns out. Now the other side, I let this sit overnight cause I just, I had stuff I had to do. This will turn back to yellow like back to that color so any questions or comments let me know down below and oh yeah don't use your good crock pot to render wax because you'll probably never get the old wax out of it so i have this crappy one that i had laying around and uh pretty much only use it as that so like i said any questions or comments let me know down below and thanks for watching